moving on to the max rib and showing you a couple little harder details than we did on the other deck. This is a hip deck and it also has a valley in there. And we're gonna put the uh, closures down first. I pre-cut our panels, got them ready, put the screws where I need to go. So working on the max rib, uh, what we did earlier is trying to keep with the same idea of an overhang. So I always measure, I got an inch overhang. Again, you can do two inches. I wouldn't do any more than two inches. So we have the closures down first. We're gonna screw everything in. We're going to apply the last piece. Next we're moving on the other side of the hip and this is kind of a tricky uh, cut you see here. We actually had to cut the panel one way for the hip and then we had to cut the panel for the valley. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is what, notice how we have the valley set in. We had the proper pitch uh, given to us and we bent it to the proper pitch. And then what we did was we screw it down. And here is up to you as a contractor. Uh, some guys, what they might do is obviously the full, they put a full roll of ice and water in there first, and then they put the valley pan down. And then some people might actually take window wrap and wrap it on the edge so nothing gets in. Uh, that's a great application when you're doing standing seam. So as we're set, setting up, we have our closure strips all set. We're gonna now apply the screws. to the hip right now we're gonna put on a hip trim uh, this is our typical hip trim you can make it wider if you want you just let us know um, but what we do in this application is you need to tell us the pitch so we can make sure we bend it properly for you we can use two and a half inch screws or inch and a half whichever you'd like when you're doing the hip always make sure that you're doing it on both sides don't go all the way up one side and then come down you know go the other way Go back and forth, back and forth. That's the best way. On this side, we're gonna be working on uh, the rake trim. And again, we put the closure strips down already. Pre-drilled the panel. Any of the closures that you use, always make sure you're screwing through them so that they don't get an opportunity to blow out or loosen up over time. After putting screws down in the whole entire valley and making sure they're nice and tight, uh, we're going to move over to our rake. And just as we did on the other one, the other demo deck, we have to close it off. So I folded it down, ran a little longer, folded it that way, and now we're going to apply it. So as on the other demo deck, uh, I use a torpedo level with the magnet. I put it on top. I wanna make sure that I'm level when I'm putting my screws in on the side. So nice and neat level. And that's your Denver rake. 
Okay, uh, we're gonna move on to the ridge cap and typically the ridge cap is the last thing you put on. Customers always ask us how do we close things off and so this is what we do at a ridge cap. I'll take a notch here, notch here, notch here, notch here and I'll take this and fold it in and then I pop it together. So that closes it off so nothing can get in. What I always do is I put the ridge cap down first, I dry fit it and make my marks. This is the LP WeatherTight vented closure. Uh, we also have profile vent and versa vent. Uh, I, I tend to use this one a little bit more than others. It has an adhesive on it. I usually keep it back about a half inch from the line. Okay, uh, we're gonna be using the two and a half inch screws to make sure we secure it properly. Uh, over on this deck, we did a hip trim. Um, the key is just to try to make straight cut lines. That's the key when you're doing any kind of valley. And then we also did a rake, and then we showed you how to ventilate your ridge. So on behalf of McElroy Metal, we'd like to thank you for joining us today.